Ladies and gentlemen, what's up everybody? My goodness, I'm so excited! Do you know why I'm excited? Mlitusukia, our people. Uh, Subscribers, uh, my goodness. Do you know, we were struggling at it to get to a thousand. Yeah. And now we are above a thousand. I can't yeah. thank you enough. We can't thank you enough. We can't thank you me. so, so much. Mm -hmm. And keep doing it. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing. Keep commenting. We love it. We love you. Thank you so much. My good name is Lydia Gitashu. And I'm Hawa Eve. Creative entrepreneur. And she is? I'm an interior designer. Ufanya hizo vitu zote. Yes. And this is where... Teamwork makes the dream work. Ah, yeah. Sasa leo. Whoa. Leo manzi mi, I'm just excited. To call a guest. To luambi ya tutakuanga lonely anymore. Mm -mm. Yes. We will no longer be lonely. Yeah. Uh, and I just need to take a moment of breathing because this is somebody I've met. Osilie. Sitalie. Okay. Natalie kilia ni afuraha. Yeah. Yeah. Because the way I met this person, our wonderful guest. Yeah. It was just this YouTube being manenos. You know, you connect with one YouTuber and then they connect you with another. And then he gave me a platform to talk about my story. Mm -hmm. I'm sure men have guess Nani. Mm, guess guys. This guess, is the guess, guy guess. who puts justice in his name. Yes. He comes from shared moments with justice. I am so happy. I'm so proud he's here. He's our guest today. And I don't want to at a preempt what he's going to tell us about. But what a PIA I'd introduce, but I'm just telling you that I am just excited. So, Eve, mm -hmm. have you met physically? Yes, of course. Watch yeah. a wrong. Okay, yeah. we're in his studio. Uh, we are in his studio, by the way. Yeah, you can tell, right? You can tell. He's it looks good people. beautiful, guys. It's mwah. Well, it's, it's, just a sneak peek. Phantom you should see the whole weird. Hey, my guys. <laughs> United States of somewhere. Yeah. At the same time, I just want to say, I'm Kenya, but actually, I'm going to make sure this is Kenya. Anyway, too much of the talk. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Welcome. You guys. You're talking about energy. I'm going to say, 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 Karibu sana. Hawa. Hawa. It's Hawa. Afu na isema na Hawa. Yes. Hawa. Yes. Mm. Right. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm so good. happy you're here. Good to see you. You know you again. gave me a platform. Yes. And yeah. again and again. This yeah. is like mm. the third time. Kasa mmekuja kama crew. Yes. Tumekuja kwako. Hawa and Gitashu <laughs> wamekamu. No. So, Ajia kuja kukumaliza. No, you guys are doing a great job. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. We appreciate that. I love the energy. I love your consistency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes we wait for other people to really tell us so many things. But one thing I love about you is amungoje kuambiwa. Jituma. You have to send yourself. The economy meka aje. Well, you have to send yourself. Yeah. So but I'm really happy to. Be here and talk to you. Yeah, thank we you for so accepting. We are so humbled yeah. to have you here with us. Feel at home. Yeah. Cool, calm, collected. I'll try. I'll try. So maybe you can tell us briefly. Yeah. Who is this man who brings justice in his name, Justice? Who are you? Mm -hmm. And maybe talk about your channel, Kidogo. Yeah. For, for those of, of our subscribers who don't know you yet. Sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. So my name is Justice. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, many people don't get to see me on my platform. There you go. I am a content creator yeah. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I run a channel called Shared Moments with Justice. Yes. So basically, I allow people to come and share their journey, their personal stories. Mm -hmm. In your platform, in your na kujanga kujianika. New queen. Literally. I'm a witness. <laughs> I'm a member. Yeah, people yeah. come to just talk about their secrets. Yeah. yeah. They tell me stuff that ordinarily they wouldn't tell you anyone. Yeah. And then it gets public. Everybody gets to know. Everybody okay, gets to know. Okay, public. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but it's been really um, a good opportunity, really, for me to also connect with people mm -hmm. at a personal level. Yeah. Much as this is about creating content for the public, it's been more for me as well. Yeah. You know, just getting to interact and. Uh, Get personal mm -hmm. and learn from other people. Yeah. Every time I sit here to listen to different stories and different journeys, different conversations, yeah. it enriches me at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that is what I do. I've been doing this for the last two years. Yes. Our YouTube channel has, I think, uh, over 94 
What would you angalia? Excuse me, you don't even check. He just got so satisfied like God is bringing them. Uh, is bringing, God, God is bringing us. <laughs> yeah. So we are on the journey for 100k subs. Yeah. So come on, come on, just guys, subscribe. Guys, guys, yeah. don't fikish any. Don't fikish any from how and guitar shoot to fikish here. Yes. 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 Ah, yeah, I believe yeah. within no time. How and guitar shoot to fikish <laughs> 10k. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about growth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. More than the numbers, I think uh, God has really been gracious for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have seen lives transformed mm-hmm. for those two years and also to make on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the stories to make to kill our self could you tell mm-hmm. these stories and is not transformed. Yeah. People talking about things that are transformative in nature. Yes. Experiences that are not just painful but things that they have learned so much from mm-hmm. and the rest of the world can actually learn so much from yeah, yeah. Yeah. learning from other people's experiences I, when i came to your platform I, i asked myself and i said i would ask you this question how did you come up with the idea of just sitting back and don't and be, most people have commented about they commend yeah. you for that yeah. how did you think of that you sit back and then you let the person who's talking unless you prompt them when you need yeah. to How did you come up yeah, with that? Because genius. I have a, uh, you see my first time watching your channel. Yeah. I watched it and I was like, who, who is asking this person this question? Mm-hmm. Who is this person? Ama, I was asking, Ama, there's a, it's called a teleprompter. Yeah. I was like, Ama, there's a teleprompter. <laughs> yeah. Ama, there's something in NDV asking yeah. questions. I was like, ah, okay. Okay, tell us about that. Mm-hmm. It was actually a walk of faith because mm-hmm. I have a journalist and a, journal, a journalism background. Yeah. So, First of all there was one thing that was really pissing me off every time I watch interviews mm-hmm. and it looks like the hosts or the interviewer is struggling so hard yeah to be more of you know to be seen and heard yeah. in the conversation mm. and the guest the whole objectivity of the conversation is lost by yeah. virtue of having another person who somehow because you're on set yeah. you have to be relevant so uh-huh. you keep asking questions even when you ought to be listening so mm. that really you know bothered me yeah. Yeah. and i said i wish i would see more of authentic conversations where someone just shares their journey especially interviews that have a lot to do with personal experiences yeah. Yeah. if i'm telling my own story yeah. allow me to tell it my, to tell it my way That's in brilliant. my own words at my yeah. own pace because yeah. really? every time you keep interjecting if i'm sharing uh, a, my, my own story mm. then it means you losing me or making me lose track yeah. of even a thought process yeah. and so it doesn't mean that this is the only way of you know telling stories or doing it but yeah. for me at that's least what at you that, wanted yeah for yeah. the kind of content i wanted to do yeah. i thought this would be ideal mm. for someone to just sit and for once be listened mm-hmm. to yes you know yeah. ongea yeah. to kuskize to yeah. Yeah. you know so i felt maybe that was a, an approach i would take mm-hmm. of course it was a risk in the sense that um, people especially when you're talking about a brand yeah people like to see a face behind the brand mm. yes. people follow faces mm. uh, that help them identify with that particular brand mm. yeah. so it was a risk in the sense that i'm starting something new Mm-hmm. and people i'm almost not giving people a face for that particular brand so they are struggling to identify with this <laughs> brand yeah. meaning i'm actually limiting my growth yeah. when it comes to numbers people yeah. are struggling if if they were able to see a face consistently yeah. then they know ah see you this is just us mm-hmm. so every week we are waiting to see this face mm-hmm. yeah. but every week i'm bringing a different face mm-hmm. so they are struggling yeah. i'm i'm <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. but it, it has come to pay off yeah. because people have realized actually it's different but it's it's okay yeah. i mean it's it's mm-hmm. different and yet it's enriching enough mm-hmm. so i don't know i don't know but uh, all i'm saying is there are so many ways of doing things mm-hmm. so don't limit yourself yeah yeah dream think out think outside the box mm-hmm. and just try yeah that was seriously thinking yeah. outside the box this is brilliant and that's a brilliant way to no go about sound, it no sound no face no you sit there yeah, yeah. talk to us it's and like you know, a therapy you yes. know no una, una, and then you have your own because it's your life yeah. you you end up and i was here i know that for a fact mm. you you have you have the chronology of your life the geography the vile mm. the ups and downs mm. so he just gives you the platform yeah. it's just Hello, brilliant yeah. Yeah. but of course for the audience those who watch the final video and some maybe think that i never talk at all <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, i i do coordinate the yes. conversation yeah. by in such a way 
way that the person who is responding feels like they are telling their own story yeah. but you know once in a while during the conversation I'm able to direct that conversation in a way that you know would also help the audience know what's going on yeah. so I, I I ask questions yeah. you know yeah. at times yeah. you know mm. we engage yeah. uh, in such a way that nikitu wasile same likuwa naongea that conversation would still yeah. uh, you know flow yeah. on its own mm. so let me now ask you just two years only Nakambi, yeah. how did you decide I'm going to become a YouTuber? I didn't decide I was going to become a YouTuber. What happened? You guys are the ones who called me a YouTuber because I was posting on YouTube. <laughs> but it was okay. never my intention to become a YouTuber. What's I just wanted intention? to create content, content. Uh-huh. that would help people mm-hmm. find healing mm. and find solutions for, you know, the everyday problems yeah. by listening to what others have gone through and what they have done. To come up with solutions but you could have gone to any other platform why exactly you? so being a journalist yeah. i felt like the mainstream media was very limiting mm. and yeah. restricting mm. you yeah. have in-house policies editorial ah. policies and a lot of policies mm-hmm. that when you look at it largely mm. they limit a lot of you know what you would uh, as a creator yeah. they limit your creative space yeah. mm-hmm. because most of what you watch on tv is controlled from somewhere else. Yeah. So I wanted to be allowed to freely express yeah. or at least bring people who can just share without much limitation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the only platform available at that particular time when I was starting which I thought would work for me was YouTube. Yeah. Uh, as a social space. Yeah. And uh, that's how I, I I started posting on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Not to be called a YouTuber, <laughs> but of course by default if you're posting you become on a YouTube, YouTuber. You become, become a YouTuber. YouTuber. Yeah. 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 But this was fueled one by the desire to really because I love stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to uh, be in a space where I'm doing something that I love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not because I wanted to work. Mm. and to create content to earn a living. Mm. Uh, eventually that comes into play. Yeah. But originally when I was beginning, I just wanted to make a difference. Yeah. Uh, use my skill and time and talent to create content that would help other people have, yeah. you know, a decent life and yeah. make meaning out of everything mm. they are going through. And in two years you've changed a lot of lives, mine included. You really yeah. have. But how many videos do you have so far? Uh, in a nutshell, like um, approximately how many? The videos are many, yeah. but the interviews I've done, yeah. I think, uh, almost 200. Ah. <laughs> We are so slow. We are slow. <laughs> not really. Yeah. And it's not a template yeah. for anything. Because mm-hmm. I know people who have come before, after me yeah. mm-hmm. who have done almost a thousand videos. Okay. You know, so, uh, and that's the thing. YouTube is a strange space to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you use one... Uh, creator as a template Uta, Uta you, you might lose out on an opportunity that was not theirs but is yours right. because you are focusing on, on other their, people's yeah. Yeah. everyone their has their template not yours. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, so yeah. everyone has their audience and their space yeah. Yeah. we will never exhaust I'll never take away your audience yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's why you know, we are celebrating the power of collaboration mm. yeah. we are here because this is a space that we can all be here yes. enjoy everyone has content. their space mm. everyone has yeah. their yeah it's not a competition yeah in any case we just want to make a difference <laughs> i'll use your words it's not a competition yeah. but do you know any which video out of all the ones that you've done those over 200 yeah. which one is so memorable to you or which one strikes you know according to something but i struggle every time to answer that question <laughs> see, i because... want to see the struggle here i've never asked you not on camera so i want to know <laughs> i struggle because every video is unique in its own ways yeah. mm-hmm. and being that these are stories yeah. that are different mm-hmm. yeah you find there are stories that speak to me in a special way yeah. and you feel like Yeah, this is it. Hakuna story nyingine itanifikisha mahali hii imefikisha. And then somebody else, and then somebody else, else comes. comes. Yeah. You know, totally different thing. Yeah. And it just strikes a different chord all together. I think what I'll so, do me I'll help because I've watched so okay, many of your stories. Yeah, yeah. There's one that you you help somebody who was in Saudi. Was it Saudi Arabia? Yes, yes. yes. Who was almost being killed mm-hmm. by the mm-hmm. that one stood out for me because you were oh. able through this you, your channel mm-hmm. to get them from Saudi Arabia all yeah. the way here and even right now you're still continuing with the relationship because yes, I met her yes. the other day. The uh, interest bit the interesting bit about that uh, particular story yeah. is that when that lady reached out to me because she had watched 
uh, a lot of videos on on my channel mm-hmm. while she was in Saudi. Yeah. And I don't know what to, what what prompted her to reach out to me because I had not done any story about Saudi. Yeah. So but somehow she felt like she needed to talk to me yeah. to find a way of helping her come out of Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. back to Kenya. Yeah. Because her contract had ended mm-hmm. but the employer was still holding on, you know, holding on to her. Yeah. Uh, even the money that she was supposed to be paid and everything a lot of things were going on yeah. so i don't know what touched her mm-hmm. uh, to reach out to me yeah. so when she reached out and told me what was going on and her desire to really come back home and if there was something i could do mm-hmm. i was taken aback i was like okay why me mm-hmm. yeah. i don't have any expertise or connection or anything that really would make someone imagine mm-hmm. i i can have such an influence yeah. to come a serikali ndi meshindwa kukuleta eh mimi ni nani now you imagine you did it so i felt so helpless mm-hmm. at the beginning but i said god there's a reason why you have you know sent this lady my way mm-hmm. so i don't know what to do but if you have right. started this process yeah. you just find a way mm-hmm. of making sure that this happens yeah. and yeah here we are the power of social media you she know she managed we did what we could yeah. and uh, she came back home celebrated mm-hmm. she was happy and re- that relationship is ongoing yeah. like you say yes that relationship is ongoing not just be- not just for her yeah. but we we have created a community yeah. with every other person that has come through this platform yeah. to share their journey yeah. because we have realized for the better part people complain and think that they don't have solutions but we have a lot of potential when it comes to solution mm-hmm. solutions mm-hmm. to these problems that yeah. we imagine exist yeah. so when we we are put together is when we realize our resourcefulness yeah. so that is the kind of community i would want to create beyond just online yeah. presence yeah. so that these people can be of help just by themselves. Yeah. Mm. Don't wait for anyone to come from any other place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really amazing. <laughs> I'm touched. Yeah. Mm. I, I would ask what are the challenges of having apart from of course yeah. the haters but what are the challenges of being having the like a shared moment with moments with justice what are the some of the challenges you go through? When we started mm. because this was just something I wanted to do anyway. Yeah. We started recording some of these videos from our house. Right? Uh-huh. So, we <laughs> have the luxury, luxury of, of, you know, this, of this space beautiful and space and, 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 and all these things, things that yeah, we have yeah. now. But, but because, because we, we were determined to make a difference, we said we will use what we have yeah. until, you know, it turns into something else and mm-hmm. indeed it, it it turned out to be something bigger than what we had initially envisioned mm-hmm. so the challenge the number one challenge was of course uh, monetary yeah when it comes to sustaining sustainability mm-hmm. yeah. uh, and of course also time mm-hmm. because i was also doing other things yeah. so this for me was not uh, my primary yeah. engagement yeah. i was i was already busy doing things mm-hmm. so this was taking up quite some time from me mm-hmm. and to be able to consistently produce and have more videos it was becoming a really tough challenge yeah. so i needed to create a team around it and that team meant more resources mm-hmm. so we have been funding most of these from our own pocket yeah. until we got to a level where now the videos could now be able to generate some revenue yeah. uh, which now at least you know eases the burden mm-hmm. yeah. so the challenges were on those two fronts mm-hmm. but of course now when it comes to content itself and our presence online and the kind of vi- uh, stories we tell mm-hmm. uh, some of these uh, stories are very uh, draining emotionally yeah. when people come and share their own struggles and sometimes you feel helpless mm. you want to do so uh, much yeah. and there's nothing you can, can do, do other than just being empathetic yeah. and sympathizing with them yeah. but you you really struggling you wish you could do so much yeah. but of course that again now is is um, taken away mm-hmm. when you share with the rest of the world and the response the yes. feedback is mm-hmm. just amazing yeah. we've had so many stories where 
as helpless as I felt once I shared that story with the world, the world connected immediately yeah. with these people yeah. and they came through yeah. for most of them. Yeah. That really gives me joy and satisfaction that are you, are you seeing this no one else can. Mm. <laughs> Have you felt that? <laughs> yeah. Since yeah. it started, I'm smiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and sometimes some of these, you know, response is not even some of these people who are going through difficult times they are not necessarily looking for money mm-hmm. yeah they are, you find someone some is just an assurance someone yes. to tell them that things are things things are going to be right yeah are going to be fine yeah. you you you're you can, not alone yeah you're not alone yeah and it has it has made a huge difference so i've stopped focusing on what is not working <laughs> yeah <laughs> and celebrating the little small milestones and you know achievements that we are making especially yeah when we realize that someone's life has been transformed yeah. has been touched yeah and mm. we encourage them if your life has been touched yeah. in this manner don't stop at that mm-hmm. yeah. touch someone else yeah. there you go yeah mm-hmm. let it be a ripple effect yes yes and and do you have a question so far because i can ask him until <laughs> kingdom come no i just wanted to comment on something when you said about challenges on time yeah. that's a challenge that sometimes we do have yeah but let me tell you we try to fix it yeah. sometimes i feel sorry for her because she tells me i'm so tired and, mm. and i'm like hey checky <laughs> yeah you have to yeah. reality Even check for a yeah. few minutes but sometimes that's a challenge i think when you're doing some other things I have connected with that because I feel yeah. so much sorry for and, and, Lydia. And you, and you see, it's a good sign mm-hmm. when you see that uh, you because no one pushes you to do what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. No one has paid you to even be here. Mm-hmm. You're using your own resources. Yeah. yeah. You're spending time doing these things mm-hmm. that are not generating income for you. At mm-hmm. least not not, not, not yet. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And yet you're still pushing yourself. Yeah. The things that people are paying you for perhaps you're not even spending as much time doing them. No. Like you're doing these ones. <laughs> not yeah, too much uh, thinking <laughs> and oh yeah. So that's a sign that this is where your hearts are. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This is what you want to do deep down. Mm. These are the things that you know, you know make you feel like human beings. You've gone straight so into what feel I wanted fulfilled. to ask. Don't stop doing it. You've yeah. gone straight into what <laughs> what I wanted to ask you. Mm. Would you tell us to keep going and would you advise young people who want to put get content? Yeah, space. people who want to get into this. How, what advice would you give? Sometimes we are we get lost into the numbers thing. Yeah. Mm. And uh, the pressure from outside. Mm. We want to live other people's dreams yeah. and forget why we are here mm-hmm. and what was meant for us. Yeah. So everybody, you find there are so many people, especially let me talk about YouTube. Yes. There are so many people on the platform doing different things. Yeah. You know, all successful in their own right and way. And you find yourself in the space you're beginning, and uh, because you're also motivated by certain factors, mm. you begin. But along the way, you start being distracted. By numbers, yeah, because there's so much pressure yeah. to uh, attain certain numbers yeah. so that you 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 break even. Yes, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. For instance, if you wanted to monetize your content, yeah, to you know generate some revenue from ads, yeah, then the requirement, at least the list, is to have a thousand subscribers mm-hmm. and four thousand watch, watch hours. Yeah. yeah. On the video. That is doing a difference. Watch hours, views. Yeah. It's confusing like, to me. <laughs> cumulatively, yeah. when you put the time that people have been watching your videos, yeah. it should add up to 4,000 yeah. hours. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. If a day has 24 hours, so you can yeah. imagine how many days will make 4,000 hours. At a, that math, it and it's umbua, I will exactly. not even try. Yeah. So it's not an easy thing, yeah. and yet it's it's possible. Yeah. So if you just focus on those two then it can be draining and yeah. discouraging yeah, at true. the same time. Yeah. But if you are motivated by what you would want your content to make or to do yes. in the world, yeah. then you will even not remember that there that was there another, num- uh, yeah. some numbers you yeah. know, mm-hmm. thing yes. going on. Because you are enjoying what you are doing. Mm-hmm. You are enjoying what you are doing. Yeah. And if you have just one person, yeah. now we are talking about views, because views are not just views. Yeah. Views represent people yes you have someone who has watched yeah. your content yeah so that one view is one person having watched your video mm. once yeah. that's 
that's an achievement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have had an audience. Mm. Like you, you, you're on stage and someone is seated listening to you. Mm -hmm. That's an achievement. Yeah. You look at it from that front mm. yeah. and you'll celebrate yourself. Yes. Yeah. You'll pat yourself in the back and say, I think uh, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Something, something is growing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> if you want to get yourself into this space of content creation, yeah. then just establish your niche, mm -hmm. know what you want to talk about, and um, fashion it, craft it in such a way that uh, it will be different yeah. from what everybody else yeah. is is doing. doing. Yeah. So if we are all just doing the same thing, yeah. then yeah, people might come and watch, but mm -hmm. um, it will be much better mm -hmm. if people can identify or know you for mm -hmm. a certain specific thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So establish a niche. Yeah, and then. Um, find more creative ways yeah. of, uh, you know, actualizing or bringing out that content in such a way that people will just fall in love with it. Yeah. Yeah, some things happen so naturally, you can't even have words to... Yeah, that's true, yeah. You know, it, yeah, I know what you mean. I will not even um, mouth it out. It, I know exactly what you're saying. And maybe the final question I would ask you is, yeah. does it pay? Yes, it does. It does pay. <laughs> so that you don't get into YouTube yeah, just for the passion. <laughs> Let's talk about money. Yeah. Let's talk about money because yeah. I think it's the elephant in the room. Yeah. Deep down when people having are having conversations with content creators, especially on YouTube, mm -hmm. the underlying issue, even when they don't voice it, yeah. people are always concerned about the money, money. thing. Yes. Yeah. Does this thing pay? pay. Yeah. And how? Mm -hmm. How much? Yeah. When? Yes. So, so YouTube can be just a hobby where you just, uh, you know, come and enjoy and go, but it also provides an opportunity for you to create an enterprise, yeah. a business. But now when you're talking about business, you have to have a business mind. Mm -hmm. So this is not a space for people to just think you can come, sleep around mm -hmm. and make money. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. You have to put in work. Yes. Yeah. I know this sounds like cliche, but yeah. it is the reality. It yeah. is. You have to put in the work. work. Yeah. Yeah. So once you put in the work, you'll get the results. Yeah. So this is how it works. When you go to YouTube, of course you're content creators, but this is for the sake of those who are watching and they're wondering how does one make money on YouTube. Yes. You guys know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm still going to learn still. <laughs> Learning is relearning, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. When you go to YouTube, mm -hmm. play any video, there are times you'll find that there's an advert that comes before your video, your favorite video mm -hmm. plays, and they are asking you, uh, you know, to give it a few seconds before you can skip mm -hmm. that video. So that advert that is playing on that video, the owners of those adverts have paid the platform, which is YouTube, mm. to allow them run those ads. But because YouTube does not create videos, where do they run the, the ads? On the videos that, that you guys create. Right. So YouTube then realizes that without you as content creators, they will not have those advertisers bringing the content. Mm. So when those advertisers bring the ads, yeah. the revenue that comes from those ads is shared yeah. between YouTube, the hosts, of yeah. the platform yes. and the content creator in this case you, you. but it's not just <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not just a blanket kind of sharing yes mm -hmm. so like we said the two requirements once you qualify a thousand subscribers four thousand watch, watch hours mm -hmm. then you become part mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. yeah you qualify for monetization meaning your videos are eligible right you know they can be able to run ads and make money mm -hmm. but the more you are able to um attract in terms yes. of viewership yes so that means if more people are watching that video more, more people are watching that advert yes so more money is coming in through that ad yeah. and so the more you're making and actually me i'd advise don't skip the ad yeah. the, the longer it plays the more money the, the uh, plays, content creator makes exactly ah, sour exactly. hi me i'm I'm satisfied. No, <laughs> first of all, before you wrap it up, yeah. there's this award that you got last year. Was it last year? Yeah. Yes, that's an, an award winning winner. award. He's an award winner, people. <laughs> don't joke. We don't just bring Garagarias here. No. Award winning. Yeah, we work with <laughs> eh, guys. Uh -huh. So there was that award. Yeah. Okay, so you need to watch your YouTube, something. Please tell us about it. Yes. Yeah. So there's an award that came from YouTube mm -hmm. uh, as a globally influential 
creator of the year yeah. uh, which came later after i had been enrolled mm-hmm. uh, in um, what what is called the youtube black voices yeah, yeah. fund mm-hmm. class of 2022 mm-hmm. so yes. this is an initiative that was begun by youtube to celebrate <laughs> black creators yeah. or content creators of African descent yeah. so that we are also encouraged to be in the space and occupy our space yeah. and to voice our issues so that we can be able to tell our story yeah. as black African creators mm-hmm. which no one else can. Yeah. So just pretty much encouraging us to be able to take resp- to, to be responsible for our own narrative. Mm-hmm. Right. So they have come up with that particular uh, forum that they select a few content creators Mm -hmm. from Africa, three African countries that are participating at the moment, Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa. Mm -hmm. So they pick creators from those three countries, they put them in a class, they train you, they give you resources, Mm -hmm. they give you money, they expose you to the world. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, you travel. It it didn't happen here. You had to travel. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 You go through, you learn from the best. Yeah. You network. Yeah. And just, they give you partner manager, someone from YouTube who is able to work with you and guide you through the whole process for a whole year. Wow. So for the whole of 2022, that is exactly what happened to me mm. with other four creators from Kenya, myself included. I think I was the only gentleman. The rest were ladies. Yeah. And then uh, in South Africa, they were picking, I think, uh, 10. Yeah. And then uh, Nigeria was, I think, with, with the highest number, yeah. around 14 or thereabouts. Yeah, because, yeah, the population there is yeah. humongous. Yeah. yeah. So we went through that for a whole year. Yeah. And uh, finally, our celebration, which was the... the graduation party mm. we went to cape town uh, wow. <laughs> last december yeah and that when is when not? i was fed that's when you I was, too when i was fed <laughs> for the globally most influential creator wow. of the year which for me really came was a humbling experience how did yeah. you feel i just wanted to ask <laughs> did you receive an email did you receive a call like how did you feel at that particular moment? The most surprising one actually mm. was me being enrolled at the beginning of 2022 mm-hmm. into this particular class. Yeah, that Given was a surprise. That I was just a year mm. old into exactly. yeah. the yeah. space. Yeah. And there were so many other content creators, YouTubers, yeah. who had you know, even numbers more yeah. than yeah. mine. Yeah, so there's something and else we're looking at. Yeah, so, yeah. and this is, I think, open to the public when I think they've just closed the application. They, we have, they have actually we have a new class for 2023. Right. But when the time comes for applications, it's open to every content creator Mm -hmm. to apply and uh, give reasons why you think you should be considered. Right. So I naively and innocently responded (laughs) and and shared. Without knowing the repercussions of that. Yeah, I didn't know that I would would So never miss any opportunity. And then to my surprise, I got an email, I got a call, and I'm like, okay, are you sure? Yeah. So are you sure? I had to stop, you know, looking at myself as that underdog yeah. and, and claim my position yeah, yeah. because it was not a favor, yeah. you know, and these are things that we have learned over time. Sometimes we are too timid yeah. that we don't even, you know, realize how yeah. much potential is within us yeah. until it's pointed out by other people. Yeah. So when that is done, take it. Take it positively and use it to impact even more lives. Yes. So it came and uh, it has really made such a huge difference in my life and on the platform, our team, and I believe by extension to our audience and those that have come to share to share their stories okay. here. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm 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 good. I'm satisfied. I'm feeling like everything that I wanted to ask you on our platform, I have yeah. asked because I was very much interested in knowing kuna pesa, meaning kikuyu, so tine penda pesa. There is money, there is, yeah. there is a parts of being mm. in YouTube, you know, a YouTuber. Let yeah. me just use that because that's what is being used yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. So there are good parts in it. You can travel. Cape Town, see ya, pa. Hey. Hmm. Where? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but the networking that yeah. I have been exposed to 
for me has been the the real deal. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. being able to meet other creators, mm-hmm. you know, other content creators mm-hmm. from other parts of the world mm-hmm. and when you you sit to have a conversation, it feels like you're speaking the same language. Yeah. So these boundaries that we have put around ourselves yeah, they don't sometimes exist. limit us for no reason. Yeah. You sit down with someone from Nigeria, from South Africa, from Ghana, mm-hmm. and you realize you're passionate about the same things. You're driven by the same passions. Yeah. So why why is it that we want to segregate, we want to you know, isolate ourselves from yeah. the rest of the world? Yeah. There are stories we have done locally here yeah. that I thought were just stories that would appeal to Kenyans. Mm-hmm. But when you air them, you see the viewership world. from the Caribbean, yeah. people from Middle Jamaica, East. Mm. people from yeah. Middle East, yeah. who are saying, I mean, these stories are speaking. They're people. human. Yeah. Everyone in the world is human beings. So when a human being is speaking, you can relate to that because yes. you're also a human being, no matter yes. where, what part of the world you come from. Right. Just as I want to thank you. Thank you so much. This Fantastic. is so good. I'm feeling so enriched, so happy. We should do Please. this more often. We should yeah. do this more often. Yeah. We should bring more stuff. This is just more a happiness tip, stuff. A tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I think there's much, much more we can do together, especially as creators. Yes. To, you know. You see, Maramusho Mnamona Apa will be coming to this studio because he has a beautiful studio <laughs> and he's from shared moments with justice. Just go. You, go I'm telling you, I watched one does. story, I kept. Karibu ni kosa kwenda kazini because these are human stories. You just go watch one. Mm-hmm. I promise you'll watch all. Yeah. Hopefully you have the time. Yeah. Maybe you should outro us now, my dear. Yeah, first of all, I'm so humbled once again that I was just watching you being confused. What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> and then I figured out maybe this is what's happening. And then here yeah, I have you in our channel. Yeah. Thank you so much for Asante. for having each other. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so yes. much for having each other <laughs> yeah. and sharing something with us yeah. and guys make sure mumebe me by home do not limit yourself mm-hmm. take that home don't limit yourself yeah and please go check shared moments with just us mm-hmm. his channel he's doing so well oh amazing stories yeah when you start watching one trust me have some popcorns there yeah some tea and then and uh, you won't like tissue papers <laughs> yeah some are tea. but, but <laughs> most of all learn something that's yeah. going to change you yeah so that atoke ona mtu mwingine going through something I understand oh maybe it's because of this or that yeah right mm-hmm. yeah. thank you so much and guys thank you so much for watching we really appreciate keep keep subscribing keep liking keep sharing and please comment down below what do you think about today's video tell mm-hmm. us what you've learned and see you on the next video mm-hmm. Bye bye. <laughs>